what is up guys it's your boy game atomic and today i'm bringing you some very interesting gameplay but before we get into it i want to thank everybody for all the support that i got on my my last video it was really greatly appreciated i read all the comments i saw the likes so thank you again for everybody for all the support and i also noticed that we got some new subs so if you are one of the new subs and you're watching this video thank you for subbing and welcome to the channel and for everybody else that is maybe considering subscribing but hasn't subscribed yet or maybe you just found me today with this video please consider dropping a sub on the channel i plan to bring you guys a lot of division content i have a lot of build ideas actually since yesterday i already worked on a new build that i will be dropping this weekend i'm just fine tuning a couple things and it testing it out making sure that you know it's up to par and then i'm going to bring that new build to you so if you guys don't want to don't miss anything make sure you sub and ring the notification bell now that being said in my last video although i did receive a lot of love one of the things that uh, I got as far as requests is that I show some gameplay of the actual build um, people thought the build was really nice but I didn't have any gameplay to showcase it and today this is exactly what we're going to do so I have some gameplay for you guys it is a level 4 uh, control point now I know it's not a heroic mission but the enemies they hit just as hard and um, they are just as tanky the reason why I didn't include a heroic mission is because I did a couple today solo but I found out they were very long and actually um, my capture device was set up to capture only 15 minutes of uh, gameplay at the time so I ended up missing a part of those missions so that's why I'm not showing you that I'm showing you the control point instead but uh, yeah you're still going to see how amazing the build is and if you guys would prefer uh, to see an heroic mission uh, let me know and next time I will come up with one instead but what we're going to do from now on uh, every time we're gonna have a new build I will start by showing you some gameplay at the beginning before actually showcasing the build or maybe you want the gameplay at the end after the showcase of the build let me know how you want it at the beginning or at the end okay let me know in the comment section but anyways I'm gonna leave you guys with this gameplay please enjoy it and if you do drop a like drop some comments uh, any constructive criticism is really appreciated let me know what I can improve so that I can make the channel better and better for you guys. And yep, so this has been your boy Game Atomic signing out. A few moments later. All right, guys, so Future Atomic, I realized that um, I did make some changes to the build since yesterday, but I didn't mention it uh, in my commentary. So that's why I came back uh, to show you guys what the changes were that we made. I decided that I wanted to play with uh, rifle instead, the M1A. So we switched to the M1A. As you can see, it is the uh, Baker's Dozen with 15% rifle damage, 16% critted hab damage, and 6% damage to target out of cover with perfect lucky shot. And uh, apart from that, the only other part that we changed is our backpack because if you remember we had a Fenris backpack which gave us 10% assault rifle damage but since we're not using an assault rifle, we're just using a rifle so I switched it to an Overlord piece uh, so we can have 10% rifle damage but everything else is the same, it's still the same synergy, it's still the same concept so as you can see i rolled companion as a talent on that uh, overlord piece just like we had companion on the uh, fenris so that's pretty much the only thing everything else as you can see three piece um badger tough or seska everything else stayed the same 
so that's the only change i switched to a rifle instead of an assault rifle but uh, i mean you can do both with this build you can even if you want to let's say run an uh, lmg or you can switch to um an lmg backpack and that way you'll be able to run an lmg but you have to roll companion on it uh, just like we discussed on uh, the build so that you can keep the same synergy all right so anyways that's the only change i wanted to come back and let you guys know so i'm gonna let you enjoy the gameplay now